Hello guys and girls and welcome to a new unboxing. We all do like unboxings, don't we? So today I have a new one and it's the HP Omen. It's a very long name, I'm gonna put it down here. You can never remember these names unless you are a seven. This laptop comes with two free gifts and it only costs 900 pounds. So if you are into gaming and you are in a budget and you want something fast and something you can compete with your friends, this is the laptop you wanna get. It's only 900 pounds, guys. I, I can't emphasize how cheap that is. And it also comes with this free speaker, uh, headphone, uh, headphone speaker, the mic thing. This alone costs 60, 60 pounds and also comes with this uh, LED mouse. It lights up and does all these beautiful things. We're gonna open those in a, in a second. The main event of the day that we're gonna open is this HP Pavilion Omen something. And if you are trying to buy a gaming laptop that you can compete with your friends who've got very higher more expensive ones, this is the one for you. You only pay 900 pounds and you get all this kit and you'll be able to beat your friends because this uses the Ryzen, AMD Ryzen 7 4800H, 4800H. It's a, one of the best, one of the best uh, processors you'll ever find. And obviously next year, which is 2021, is gonna be replaced by the 5. 1808 but still is a very very good processor and I highly recommend it it's actually equivalent to a 10857H from Intel and a lot faster than the 9750H and the 10750H from Intel so I highly recommend it we're just opening it now and it comes in very in various colors but if you pay less you get this greenish color which I'm gonna show you in a second and if you pay about 50 pounds more, you get the white one. So if you're on a budget, I recommend you get the green one. Because it doesn't, it's not only looks good, it looks better, and also it is cheaper. So if you're on a budget, get this variant. I'm going to put the link in the description down below. The only problem is that it's very hard to find them. So the first thing I noticed is that the charger is the medium size, it's not very heavy, not very light. 250 grams for 350 grams, something like that. It's not that big, it's not, it's much less than a, it's a medium, medium size. Comes in this beautiful frog green. Just gonna open it from the back here. And you'll immediately notice, if you've got a good, if you've got a good eye, that they tried to make it as ominous as possible, so you've got a bit of pavilion going on here, pavilion going on here. Here is the froggish, froggish green that I was telling you about. And if you can't see it, I'm sure you can see it now. It's very froggish green. And this doesn't go away, it stays like that. And when you light it, when you turn the lights on, it becomes even more green. So if you're working in an office or something, let's say you're working in a uh, in a university or office or something and you're uh, you've got like a job or something and then you suddenly turn up with this very bright green laptop you're gonna get everyone's attention that's for sure so this is not for adults i would say this is for teenagers i don't know if you're a cool adult maybe perhaps you can still have this laptop with this bright bright green fluorescent green i think people would call you the green monster so now i need to remind you guys that you're not getting something premium here. It's all plastic, it's all very light. It doesn't feel premium. It feels like something that you'd buy off a discounted shop. But the the beauty is in the inside, it's not the outside. You've got a GTX uh, 1650 Ti, or uh, 1660 Ti, sorry. And that's your GPU. And then you have the Ryzen 4 800, which is not bad. The screen, is a 1080p screen. It's not probably the brightest you're ever gonna find. It's about 250 nits. So it's not gonna be like, like uh, blinding you from how bright it is. It's gonna be okay. It's a normal screen. It's a bit, a matte finish, as you can see. I don't know if you can see that. I apologize because I have to sell my uh, professional camera. I'm buying a new one. So wait for that. And I'm also gonna do a review on my new camera. So here it is, it's very shiny. 
I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. Yeah, so here is all plastic, so plastic, and it's very cheap plastic. We're not talking about premium, we're talking about something very cheap. I like this button very much, the power button. It's very unique and it's very thin, and it's got this LED light, it's quite good. Uh, the speakers are on here on the front. I think there might be a left and a right Or this could be just for aeration. Actually, I just noticed that they're uh, They go up and down there. They are grooved. So that's very neat. They're not straight I don't know if you can see that But your your finger sinks in here. This is actually quite a nice touch. Actually, it's not bad. It's not bad It's like a matrix the matrix. It's nice. It's nice. I think you get used to it after a while So yeah Continue. I'm gonna install it and then we see how good it is. Uh, so far everything about this laptop is good. If I had to change a few things, I would first of all make this charger plug a little bit stronger because it does look a bit flimsy and it looks as if it's about to break. So it's not the most stable. The other thing is the lack of USB ports. I have one on the right and one on the left. I wish they would include two or three on the left, especially that there's a lot of space in here and they've crammed everything on the right so if you're if you've got your headphone plugged in and you've got a USB-C you've got your SD card you've got your HDMI you've got your landline and they're all on the right and they are a bit annoying if you've got a mouse it, maybe if they did include the ability to change the color so perhaps white and green but maybe I'm asking for too much for 800 pounds 900 pounds this is very good for this price range. Typing on this laptop is very good. The typing experience is good. I would give it 8 out of 10. It's very, the keys are very good to type on. The other thing is that they've included a keypad, which is very nice for a 15 inch laptop. You have a full number keys. I like that. So if you're used to the keys, this is the laptop for you. So far, I don't think I can fold this laptop. I think it might be one of the best budget gaming laptops in 2021 so here we've got our uh, ssd NV nvme and here we have uh, two uh, rams i think it's two of the four four and four that makes eight gigabytes you can obviously upgrade all of these and here we have an hhd caddy which you can put a uh, hhd or even an ssd uh, sata drive if you wanted to but this is just a empty space Here's a battery, it's not the biggest battery you can find, I think it's a 3 cell or maybe a 2 cell, I don't know. But it won't last long. You've got two ventilation fans, uh, uh, fans and uh, here is the cooling system. It's okay, it's not doing a very good job. I think this is the 5, the 5 uh, uh, LAN uh, Wi-Fi. And yeah, this is it, the upgradable but... You, there's not much you can do, but you can perhaps buy a SATA and then maybe NVMe. -E. You can upgrade the RAM, obviously. Okay, you saw the laptop. What are your thoughts on it? Let me see. When I'm carrying it, when I'm carrying this laptop, it feels like it's most of it is empty inside. It's just plastic. It feels cheap, but the design is good. The look is good. It's really amazing, but why does it feel cheap? Yeah, Maybe it, it does have empty. that cheap feel, I have to say. Yeah, but I like it. The look of it, if you look at it, just look at it like that. You feel it's good? Yeah, once you touch it, then you get this uh, plasticky feel. But again, it's only £900, so true, yeah. This is the first part of this episode. In the next episode, we're going to show the gaming capabilities of this laptop and if it's any good for video editing. I am going to sell my Aura 15G and it's going to be, this is going to be my replacement laptop so I'm going to be working on it full time and I'll give you an update in about 2-3 weeks. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed, press the like button, press it, don't click it, press it. And also share this video if you find it interesting. We'll see you in the next episode and peace.